Good morning, folks. If the cow jumps over the moon, a hundred thousand kilometers and billions of tons of plasma filament jump over the tiny blue rock. Anyway, we've got another solar wind shockwave striking Earth this morning. Our third ever use of the Alert Star earthquake prediction gets a hit. It's three for three. We'll get to all of that in a moment. First, we're coming to spaceweathernews.com and finding that the last 24 hours on our star was relatively uneventful. Had some surface movements, nothing major, just the dark coronal holes. The only eruption that came off was during the news yesterday. It will miss Earth, but will hit 1 AU during the supermoon, potentially coupling. Solar wind shows a rise in speed this morning. Earth's magnetic field is compressing now, so it'll be up to you to check spaceweathernews.com today for the onset of magnetic storm conditions. It should be the peak speed from the leading coronal hole to the right there. The supermoon and CME coupling will line up when the left coronal hole patch faces Earth, but alas, we are still in the quake watch mode from that first one. Yesterday morning, we noted the blood echoes deep underground and the energetic release patterns in the atmosphere. We had two alert stars to begin the day. But as it marched on, the energy shifted. Only Japan was on alert as the other star disappeared, and the watch shifted slightly south from the Kamchatka Peninsula of Russia to right near Fukushima. Very lucky that there was not further damage at the 2011 disaster site as a 6.2 strikes the region. Very lucky, it was nearly 45 kilometers down beneath the ground when the rupture occurred. Let's get to the top stories. New NASA animation of changes in sea ice in the Arctic due to an early winter storm that brought a good bit of heat on the leading edge. Next, we've got a graphic from the Weather Channel on how we expect La Nina to affect the United States as the season shifts. Expect an east-southeasterly shift in the jet. Dear China, we've got your rocket. Please come claim it. Fell out of the sky in Burma yesterday. Not sure if Australians would rather have the space debris or what they've got falling out of the sky. Tornado, major hail, worst wind in years, and if you love that Australian Chardonnay, might have some very bad news for you. Right now, we've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.